dear students in this video i'll be discussing about flip flop flip flop as the name tells it is a electronic device of two stable states so those two stable states are 0 and 1 and it can store a bit of information so how we can construct this flip flop so here is a circuit given with two inverters one connected back to like inverters connected back to back so the first inverter if the input is zero i'll be getting the output as one this output will be feeded as an input for the second inverter so since this input is one the output of the second inverter is zero this output has been feeded back to the inverter one as an input now the first inverter output is always 1 the second inverter output is always 0 and this stays constant these are the two output states which retains constants 1 and 0 so in the second circuit the input of the first inverter is 1 the output of that is 0 so that has been fitted as an input for the second inverter the output is 1 always this retains constants 0 and 1 in the second so 1 and 0 in the first 0 and 1 in the second so these are the two stable states and it's not changing and one more thing flip flop is a bistable device which is having two stable states or uh, which is having um, two different states at every point i mean to say so here if you look in the output of the first inverter is 1 and 0 the output of the second inverter is 0 and 1 always it is a complement to each other now this is the construction using an inverter now we'll look into the sr latch what is an sr latch so we know how to write an inverter uh, working of an inverter or the inverter representation using an universal gates either using nand gate or using nor gate so we just write down that using an nor gate the reason is here the input is just the output of the previous stage now along with this feedback i need to provide two more inputs set and reset so here is the circuit so with the two nor gates i'm be representing these things so the output of the first will be given as an input for the second output of the second will be given as an input for the first one like feeded back here along with the inputs set and reset yes stands for set r stands for reset so here what i just need to explain here is is similar to this output retains constant irrespective of the previous stages just look into this if my s is 0 and r is 0 if my previous output is 1 and 0 uh, one more point i just forget to tell you people all is what is a flip flop flip flop is a sequential circuit so so far we have discussed uh, so many concepts uh, we have discussed using uh, boolean expressions we simplify using k map quinn matlaski entered variable map and also any boolean expression we have worked out using uh, or implementation using multiplexer decoder demultiplexer or encoders and also the pal pla rom all these things so all those what we discussed so far is a combinational logic circuit flip flop is a sequential circuit oh, what is the difference between these two combinational logic circuit and a sequential circuit is so sequential circuit the output depends not only on the present input also on the previous output that is the only reason when i was talking about this i told yes and r are the inputs s is 0 r is 0 my previous output is 190 so the present output depends on the input and also the previous output in the combinational logic circuits if you just take an example of an adder as and when i provide the input suppose if it is an half adder 10 uh, is the input the output is 1 it's very clearly known the sum output is 1 the carry output is 0 so output depends only on the present input 
we never bother what was our previous output in the combinational logic circuit. But in the sequential circuit, output of the previous stage is very essential in order to derive the output for the present state. Okay, we'll just focus on this now. If my previous output is 0 and 1, so this is present input is 0, 0 and this 0, 0, 0. The input of the NOR gate is 0, 0. NOR is nothing but reverse of an R. R we know uh, except 0, 0, rest all cases it is 1. So since the NOR is reverse of that except 0, 0, rest all case it is 0. So for 0, 0, here the S is 0 and this is 0, 0, 0, the output is 1. So previous stage also 1, present state also 1, we get the same state here. Now 1 and 0, 1, 0 is the input for the NOR gate, the output is 1, 0, it is 0. So this output retains constant for S and R, 0, 0. Next case, S is 1, R is 0. So, this output is 1. 1, 1, output is 0. 0, 0, output is 1. So, this also retains constant for S, 1 and R, 0. Next, S, 0, R, 0. So, the previous output is 1 here for the Q. If we consider that 1, 0, output is 0, 0, 0, the output is 1. We get the same output whatever we get earlier. Then, if you look into this circuit, so 0 here, previous stage is 0. So, 0, 0, output is 1. 1, 1, output is 0. We get the same state here as the previous output. So, one thing you should understand here, S and R is 0, 0. Whatever your previous state, we get the same state. Just confirm that with this. So, previous stage, we have written 1, 0 as the output. So, P stands here for Q bar. Q is for Q. Okay, this is the complementary output of Q. So, S and R 0, 0 in both the cases. Your Q bar is 1. That means P is 1. Uh, Q is 0. P is 0, Q is 1. Irrespective of the output, when S and R is 0, 0, we get the same state. Because this is what the true table of an SR flip-flop. But when we look into this, S is 1, R is 0. We know the SR flip-flop truth table, which you have studied in your earlier semester. When S is 1, it is set. So, when S is 1, it is set. When R is 1, it is reset. In this case, only if Q is 1 and P is 0 in the previous stage, S is 1, R is 0, it retains with the same state. Suppose if we change this, this, sorry, if we change this P is 1, Q is 0, obviously this state will vary with this input. It can't retain the same state. If S is 0 and R is 1, if my previous condition is reset, then in the next state also I will be getting the reset state only. So, that is how this SR flip-flop will work. So, now we will just look into the things. How we can able to write this SR latch. Sorry, I, I forget to tell one more point. What we discussed so far is an SR latch. So, what is the difference between flip-flop and a latch? Both are same except the input, additional input for the flip-flop is the clock, only when the clock has been applied, the flip-flop will be operating. Otherwise, uh, it will not be working at all. So, latch as and when the input provides, we are going to get the output. So, latch can also store one bit of information. Flip-flop can also store one bit of information. So, SR latch can be written with a NOR latch or with a NAND latch. But the difference between latch and flip-flop is... We have a clock input in the flip-flop. Only with the triggering of the clock, the flip-flop will be enabled. So, this point you should remember. Now, what we have written with the NOR latch, the same thing, we can just write it like a cross-coupled. What is the meaning of cross-coupled here? So, here one next to the other we have written. So, we will be writing one below the other. So, this 
<coughs> sorry this nor latch sorry nor gate will be written down means this output will be fed back as an input here and this is q bar correct and this output has been given as an input for the first so we'll be providing this output as an input for the first that is how we are going to write it for the nor latch one below the other so here is the circuit so s is the input for this so for s we'll be getting p that is q bar r input will be having q so this is called as a cross couple so this is how we can write a sr latch so this is uh, the sr latch with the nor gate now we need to write it for the nand gate we already know what is the working of this we have discussed in the previous circuit here so we need not to discuss again how this works right only with the output of this we are going to get the output of the next nor so in the similar way we work with the nand so we need to consider the input for this inputs and then we'll work out with this so this is the truth table for sr flip flop so s and i input so 0001101 since we are providing here s bar r bar so it's been return here s bar r bar so 0 0 so it is 1 1 0 1 it is 1 0 1 0 it is 0 1 1 1 it is 0 0 the output of the sr sorry the true table of the sr flip flop is when both are 0 0 it is previous state so since i've written here i've not written anything in the description so 0 1 it is reset 0 1 so the description here is the reset 1 0 it is set One zero, then one one. It is forbidden, so it is unpredictable. It can be either one or zero, anything. Okay. Now we look into this. So when our s bar is one, what's the output we're going to get? It. We'll consider some output across the q and q bar as the previous output. So we just write down that. Suppose if this is zero and one in the previous state. So when s bar is one, so when s bar is one, and this previous stage is one, so one one, the output of this is zero. So zero is the input for this, and r bar is one. That's what I just want to work with this one one, right? So zero one, zero one, the output is one. so we get the same state earlier state was also 0 1 even with the input 1 1 for this s bar and r bar we get the same state so this condition satisfied now we'll consider the next case if my s bar is 1 okay if my s bar is 1 and the previous state i output i'll so since this is reset correct so let me work with this s bar as 0 okay so s bar is 0 will work with a set condition then will work with a reset condition so s bar is 0 r bar is 1 and the previous stage output is 0 and 1 so since it is 1 1 0 the output is 1 so 1 0 the output is 1 earlier state was 0 with the s bar as 0 we get the output as 1 so 1 1 output of the nand gate is nand gate is the reverse of the and gate and gate will be getting one only when both the inputs are one all the other cases it is zero so this since this is reverse to it it will be zero only when both are one one in all other cases it is one okay now the present conditions of the inputs are one one since one one is the input i'll be getting it zero so this is the output we get it for s bar is 0 r bar is 1 we get 10 now we'll work with the reset conditions that s s bar is 1 and r bar is 0 so s bar is 1 and r bar is 0 if one of the input for the nand gate is 0 the output will be 1 so now r bar is 0 0 the output is 1 here 1 1 the output is 0 so it works with the reset condition If one zero, the output is zero one. This is his. This is how the uh, SR latch for the NAND gate, and we have discussed SR latch for the NOR gates. With this, I'll end up this video. Thank you.